Hello, welcome to another tutorial from Prime TV. Prime UI libraries are design agnostic. That means they do not depend on a certain styling. Majority of the UI libraries out there usually enforce uh, styling like material, bootstrap, tailwind, or others. In our case, Prime UI libraries provide uh, themes for different styles. For example, we have built in material themes, bootstrap, our own Prime 1 themes, um, also have a you know, tailwind-like theme. So instead of importing their styles, we are just, you know, um, provide lookalike themes. That results in a design agnostic infrastructure so that you can switch themes on the fly and easily also if you have your own style guides, you can easily uh, implement your own. In this tutorial, we will try to integrate the Prime Designer uh, SAS structure to your project. So Prime Designer is actually a tool, it's an add-on that provides a visual mode and a designer mode. You may check out the designer uh, videos, tutorials in Prime T as well. This one shows how to get that structure and integrate it in your application. So let's begin. So on the left side, I have a sample um, application based on Create React app. It has a text and simple input text. So when I type something, I get the value on the, at the click of a button, I'm just displaying it with welcome someone. Okay, it looks like something like this. Hello, welcome Prime. So the text goes to, the, the value goes to the text and at the click event, I'm just getting that text and setting the message. Both are using use state. So that's it. So this is a simple example that I've used that I have extended from the Prime Rack repository. We have an examples repository. So you may see that it uses the Lara Teal theme. So let's try to change it to Lara Teal Indigo, for example, to see if there will be an effect. Okay. Make it dark. Okay. And we also have the, you know, the material themes and things like that. Um, let's see at the, oops, that's the wrong one, prime removal. Okay, hmm, the themes are here. So let's try to add the material theme here. Okay, now it is the material theme. So the, the thing would be how to, let's say, customize the material team. Since if you have purchased a designer and you would like to change these colors because the Prime Rack provides the indigo, deep purple, and the dark versions. Let's try to come up with something different. Okay. So this is the designer. The designer at the assets folder, there's the designer. This folder actually contains all the SAS structure for the components, all the variables uh, available. So this is actually your main things. And this, is, should, this should be untouched because your themes reside here. For example, let's check out the Lara themes. Lara Light provides all these variables, which our theme has created. And for example, let's check out the Lara Blue. It defines some um, primary colors and highlight colors to be used and passes that to the main variables file. As you can see on the, the variables on the left side are the variables that are used by that designer folder uh, SCSS files. On the right can be anything. So since Lara, it, we provide four or eight different Lara themes. We have created the reused variables. It's kind of unrelated, but you know, whatever I pass uh, from this Lara blue, it goes to the right side. So if you miss something, it won't compile, but it is up to you how to customize this. Let's create, let's grab the material theme from here and put it inside your app. Create React app is able to uh, include SCSS. So let's remove our theme and see how it works. 
Okay. I think it should still work, but you won't get nothing. Nada. Okay, let's try to assets folder. And I have at the assets I have copied, I grabbed that designer folder and then move that to uh, assets designer. Also create a themes folder and get the material themes here. Now material light. So I have the material themes, material like standard. Let's check out in Digo. So it first imports the variables folder, this file, this one. Um, since that is indigo, it just defines primary color and accent color. Then it includes the fonts for, I believe it's Roboto for material. It then includes the designer. Then includes the vendor extensions. You know, designer themes can easily be extended. That's why I've created something extensions folder. Material themes are the theme that use it the most because in material is like a very different take on styling with the shadows and overlays and RGBs animations. So we use that extensions folder a lot, as you may see. And finally, this extensions is your own extensions actually. So this is where you would like to put your own extensions. So when a new version of Prime React or another library shows up, you just need to update the designer folder. You don't need to touch this unless there's a new variable which is documented. So this part should, is mostly um, untouched and you just need to update the designer folder because that's where we add fixes and improve. For, for example, sometimes we add a new component, then we the designer folder needs to be added. So let's create um, let's create a new folder uh, material purple maybe that's material colors okay so we may check out something like orange 500 Okay. I'm just going to replace it. Which doesn't. Oops. Okay, I'll just put it here and then move it orange. And now I have the orange one. Here, I just need to primary color is this one with the text color is black and the accent could be green and accent text color is the foreground color whereas if the accent is the background, the accent color should be white but the tool suggests for accessibility. A darker version okay now I have my own theme called orange material theme let's check out the theme that SCSS again the same thing it just imports my own uh, colors it then goes and imports these material variables and that's to feed the designer so I have my variables uh, for the orange I also at the import in my, in my variables, I import the material theme variables so that I can feed this designer folder. Then your extensions. Okay, let's see. Um, unless there is an issue with the path, it should work. You know, um, assets, themes, material. Material light, standard, orange, team.scss. Okay, team.scss is not found. Maybe there's a mix up with the folder. Source.
tonight at the source. Oh, okay. Oh, this is app, right? So I'm in the source, so it should be assets anyway. Assets, teams, material, material light, standard. What, what happens if I add this? Yes. No, it's just. Okay. Oops, I don't have the SAS. npm install sas okay now i have my orange material button and i can use my own thing To be able to import SCSS in your application, I had to, I forgotten that, so I had to add SAS. Uh, not SAS is deprecated, so we are usually uh, using SAS. Okay, let's go through this example once again. We had some issues, but in the end, it's, it was all sorted out. So this is my application, but instead of a built-in theme from Prime React NPM package, I have the designer and I have moved the designer folder and since I'm using the material I just need to change the style I just picked the material theme and moved these to assets designer and themes I've forgotten the relative path that was another issue which was also fixed so the themes designers here and themes are here here is my new orange theme that imports that defines its own uh, variables and then imports the main material variables as you may see they go to the right side mostly if you like to customize the material theme for example add the in integrate um, let's say input paddings to joint paddings maybe then yeah or if you can make them even bigger as well that's the core part. If you if you just need to change the colors, you can create your own uh, theme and then uh, create your own uh, theme file. So you have different alternatives here. You may even mix up with CSS variables so that you can have more dynamic behavior instead of dealing with say, CSS files. So let's do this as well. You may also create the dark version if you go to this path. So. As you may see, this variables folder uses darker values. So if your file imports that variables instead of the light variables, your application will be darker. But of course, don't forget to customize your main application. For example, the surface ground is and the font family are exported from the theme you are using or generated, generating here, so that the background color and font family and text colors are derived from the prime library that you're using, prime library theme that you're using. So uh, otherwise, your changes will only apply to the components like input text button here. So if this approach doesn't involve any command line because you don't need to do command line, you know, generation of SAS because you create React app or Next.js or whatever stack that you're using uh, usually supports uh, SCSS files. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Hopefully uh, you found this uh, tutorial useful. The same goes for uh, in Angular Prime, Engine Prime PrimeFace and PrimeView as well. They all have the similar structure. You just move, you just grab the designer files, move it to your application. Instead of importing the built-in uh, themes, you just import your own theme. And the nice thing about it is that you, the designer is, resides in your application so that you have full control over everything. 
Okay, that's it for now, and thank you for joining me.